Okay, a couple of days ago, I saw the uh, the latest tween chick flick romantic movie that apparently everyone about the age of like 14 or 15 is going absolutely nuts over. That's right, I saw Twilight. I saw it with my fiance and you know, like four of her friends. Pretty much all of us are in like the 20 to about 50 age range. So I've never read the books. I have no intentions of reading the books. If the books are great, hey, you know what? Fantastic. Enjoy reading the books. I have no intentions of actually reading the books. So I'm just going to go the movie real quick. I saw some stills beforehand, and I knew I was either going to kind of enjoy this or I was going to laugh nonstop. Because if you see the stills, you notice that apparently a vampire is someone who is very, very pale with, like, perfect hair. Just perfectly either just, like, slicked back and platinum blonde, or it's just frazzled out like you're trying to make fun of a clown or the homeless. Now, the vampires are, like, the least vampire you're ever going to see in a movie. And some of the dialogue is absolutely laughable. You know, he's the main vampire, Edward, I guess he's a, he's kind of sweet-talking the female lead. And he makes mention that, you know, the first time I saw you, I wanted to kill you. It doesn't really scare her because she loves him that much that she's okay with the fact that he said the first time he saw her, he wanted to kill her. Okay? And now they live in, you know, a section of Washington. Because it's always dark, there's almost never any sunlight. Now, the family of vampires never go to school when the sun's out. Because apparently sunlight makes their bodies glisten and glitter. Like they're covered in, you know, rhinestones. They don't burst into flames. Now, from a romantic standpoint, you know, it's... It's cheesy. I mean, it's, it's cheesy, but it's not bad. I've seen worse romantic movies. Now, there is, like, one actual moment of violence where a guy gets his head torn off, but it's done in the background. It's not, like, a main thing. It's actually kind of violent, but most of these heavily romantic movies tend to have some level of violence to them. If you're dragged to see a romantic movie, and you want to kind of see, you know... Vampires. It's it's not a bad movie. I mean, it's not a fantastic movie. I'm not going to say it's the best movie of all you know, of all time or this year, but it's not a bad movie. And I'll be honest, you know, I'm like 28 years old. I've never read the books. I went, you know, okay, it's, it's a vampire romance. Either it's going to be decent from a vampire standpoint or decent from a romance standpoint. And you know, it's it's kind of it's a mixed bag of both. There's nothing really fantastic about it. I mean, I didn't think the male lead was, you know, like a heartthrob at all. I could have been thinking he almost kind of had a, a bit of a James Dean quality, but like a slightly autistic James Dean, because the look in his eyes just doesn't really convey any emotion. But, you know, not a bad movie. It's, you can make, you can survive the two hours of it, just... Take it for what it is. You'll get some laughs. And, you know, it's it's really not that bad of a movie. Of course, I didn't see it with like a thousand tweens either. I saw it with, you know, a couple people in their 20s, a couple people in their 30s, and, you know, a couple like in their 40s and 50s. But, you know, not a bad movie. 